I'm Gianni Crawford here at the Spex Howard School of Media Arts. The Youth Neighborhood News Team got a chance to take a tour and learn more about the radio, film, TV, and digital media arts departments. It's been around for more than 40 years and started out with humble beginnings inside an old kitchen in Redford. Today, thousands of people have graduated from Spex Howard School of Media Arts, a school started by a man named Spex Howard. Many graduates have gone on to pursue careers in television, radio, film, and now graphic design, and their photos are displayed on the Hall of Fame. The YNN team took a tour of Spex Howard in Southfield. These are two major radio stations that actually broadcast throughout the school. So what's nice is when you call the school and you're put on hold, you get to hear bits oh, and pieces sorry. of the people's show. So if you want to look into the studios, right here is where you know, you're going to really be in the heart of radio. So these students are actually having full on-air shifts, four days a week for four hours. You're coming up with your own material. Um, I also work in radio. I work at 96.3 WDVD on the weekends on the air. For many graduates, Spex Howard is home away from home. And this former student and now radio instructor has sound advice for future students. My advice would be, um, first of all, to be open to stepping outside your social sphere. Because I have students, and what I mean by that is I mean you find what you find funny because your, fa your friends find it funny. And maybe it's you and your friends, and it's just a little tight-knit gr group, you know. But once you set foot in this door, it's mass communications, and you're talking to more people. So it's not just about that clique that you hang out with. It's about everybody. Okay, and we have 21 labs because in the beginning of the eight-month program, your class sizes start at about 45 students. And then once you pick a concentration, you're going to split down to about 20 to 25 students. Because you want to make sure it's more of a you know, hands-on, one-on-one, and that you know, there's enough equipment for everybody. And if you have any questions, you know, your instructors are always there to help you. So, okay? so this is where you'll spend a lot of time in the beginning. And you know, like I said, we have 21 practice studios, so there's enough for everybody. Then there is the television and film site that includes learning set design. So this room was created, wide open space, because this is where you're going to be learning how to do set design. But this is where you really get to be creative. Um, as you can see, we have an office setting right here. So they're learning how to shoot in film style, which is completely different from, you know, like live news, because you're taking multiple takes of the same thing. And this is kind of similar to the type of film that you see in movies. So it looks different out of a camera compared to a live new shot. You know, it actually looks live, you see everything, whereas this is, you know, just a different type of camera that you're going to be using. But, you know, this is wide open because maybe you want to do an outside, you know, shot. Or, you know, we have a green screen, and I don't know if you guys are familiar with the green screen. You can pretty much do any type of background. So that's why we pretty much leave this wide open. You know, you're going to be learning how to do lighting, how to work with cameras. So like I said, you know, we really leave this open for you guys to be creative and come up with your own style. The school continues to expand. They have a Farmington Hills location and a new program, Digital Media Arts. We have this campus and then we also have one in Farmington Hills at 10 Mile and Grand River. And that's where the Digital Media Arts program is at. Um, and with that program, that one is more behind the scenes. So this is where you're going to do video production. So if you don't want to do anything on the camera or in front of the camera, then this program will be perfect for you because you're working with HD cameras, you're working with film equipment. so. Um, jib arms, dollies, learning how to get entry level positions in film is what you'll be learning and then you're also uploading video content to the web. I'm sure you're familiar with YouTube, right? Oh, it's Specs Howard benefited me in many ways. I've learned a ton of stuff in the past year. I'm about to graduate in four weeks and I've learned everything from writing to shooting stuff to editing stuff and then building websites, putting all that stuff on the website that I built. Like it's a really crash course in a lot of subjects. Once you graduate, students have an opportunity to become part of the street team. We promote the school. Um, we go out and partner up with other companies. Um, a lot of ones that when you graduate from here, you're aiming to get jobs with. Like you said earlier, ADNX, Metro Times, Real Detroit. Um, we worked with Amp Radio a little bit. And we help them. We partner with them and make videos for them. And then we also go to events like um, the Hoedown or the Detroit Electronic Music Festival and we just hang out at those events, pass out beads to people and just have a lot of fun, interact with the people and let them know what's going on at the school. And when you go out to these festivals, have you ever talked to a celebrity or interviewed anyone? When I did get to film uh, Dave and Chuck the Freak, they did the morning show. Oh, yeah. 
Um, yeah, that was the first event that I did. I got to be a camera guy on that, and I was only here a week, so I got to film them, film the crowd. It was a really fun experience. Uh, working with the um, radio stations, we get to interview quite a bit of bands. Um, I know one of our previous interns interviewed Tayo Cruz. Um, I've done interviews with Escape the Fate and a lot of other uh, nationally touring rock bands and stuff like that. So, uh, oh, and we've interviewed an actress that was on uh, the show Mad Men. So yeah, we've met and interviewed a lot of cool people, and we get a good range of like musicians, um, actors. Uh, we even do a show that's got um, businessmen in the local area. So we've interviewed a couple of millionaires too. Bex Howard offers an 8-month and a 12-month program. Students acquire skills in various areas and can earn diplomas in radio, video and film, graphic design, and digital media arts. They also offer career services, which helps graduates find internships and entry-level jobs. In 41 years, about 14,000 students graduated from Spex Howard. I'm Naomi Sommler reporting for Youth Neighborhood News, where we bring you the younger side of the news.